Hey everybody, I hope you're doing so well. I'm coming to you today with yet another Valentine's Day inspired look. Uh, today's look features a very glowy sort of golden finish to my skin as well as the eyes and a very dramatic eye which also uses a golden sparkly base with a beautiful burgundy matte color in the crease. So please stay tuned for how to do this look. So let's get started. I've already primed my lid with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and will now apply Max Paint Pot in Groundwork to my entire lid going right up to underneath the brow. Next I'm going to apply a beautiful loose powder to my lids. Uh, this will cover my entire lid without going past the crease and this is a color by Tarina Tarantino which is called I believe Sparklicity Pure Gold uh, Sparkle Powder. Um, can't quite see it. It is actually a gold tone with a quite a bit of shimmer in it but the shimmer is or the glitter is not thick and chunky. It's quite fine. I'll show it to you on my finger here and I'll swatch it for you on the back of my hand. Probably would be really nice on its own so perhaps I'll do a look with this color by itself but for now what I'm going to do is just use my flat shader brush and take whatever's in the pot which isn't very much the one thing I would have liked to see in this is a little lid to keep the powder from coming out, but that's okay. Um, so I have a little bit in on my brush and I'm going to swirl it around in the, the lid of the product so as to make sure that I minimize the amount of fallout that I get. And I'm just going to pat this color right onto my lid again without going past the crease and you can keep applying more to get whatever intensity you'd like. I just wanted to make sure that the color was slightly opaque on my lid. Okay, by removing the excess from my brush when I applied this color to my lid, I reduced um, the amount of fallout that I would get underneath my eye and I actually got none if you can see so it is possible to do this without getting too much fallout. Next I will apply a burgundy color to my lid. It is a matte color by Makeup Forever and it is color number 131. It is a deep color and just like last time I'm going to use my angled shadow brush tap the tip of this into the color and like I said Makeup Forever matte colors are quite pigmented so you don't need a lot just make sure you tap off the excess and create the shape that you'd like and for me I'm angling upwards towards my brow and drawing it right into the crease. See, So I'm not going all the way across the crease I'm just going about three quarters of the way in. And with the color placed where I'd like it to be, I'm going to use my blending brush and blend this color out. Add more if you'd like, just so that it matches. I'm going to add more probably just so that it matches this eye, but you can go ahead and add as much as you like to create the intensity that you'd like. I'm going to also go ahead and blend this upwards I blended this color quite far up to make sure that it faded out nicely into my highlight color which I'm going to be placing under my brow. So just go ahead using light circular motions, blend this color out. Next I'll take my flat smudging brush um, and just tap it right into this color and put this along the lower lash line about three quarters of the way in and blend it right into the color on the upper lid. For my highlight on my brow bone as well as in my tear duct area today I'm going to be using Albatross by NARS. I'll just use my tiny shading brush just tap it into the color and apply it 
right underneath and also make sure you blend it out nicely into that burgundy color on the lid and when you put this into your tear duct area make sure you bring it down a little bit and blend it into this burgundy color on your lower lash line. Next I'll go ahead and line my upper lid with my Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner in Blackest Black. I'm also going to line my waterline and tight line my eye using Smolder by MAC. It's an eye coal. And I'll apply my mascara, which is my CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion in very black to my upper and lower lashes. Now I'm going to apply my blush, which is going to be MAC Blush in Spring Sheen. And I will be applying a highlight as well to my cheekbones, the highest point of my brow, um, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, as well as my chin. And for that, I'll be using Albatross once again. For my lip color today, I will be applying a lip liner as well as a light coat of lip gloss on top of that. Um, first, I'm going to fill, line my lips and fill them in with Max Half Red Lip Liner. And I'm going to be using NARS Gloss and Albatross on top of that. Since the focus on the look today is a dramatic eye, I've only put a very light coat of the half, half red on my lips. And on top of that, like I said earlier, I'm going to apply this lip gloss, uh, which has a gold sheen to it, just like the Albatross uh, powder that I used on my face. Um, I'll just, I'm applying a little bit to the back of my hand and using my finger to rub it in. Um, since I don't want the lips to be overly dramatic, I'm going to make sure that I apply the lip gloss quite lightly on my lips and really kind of blend the, the lip liner and the lip gloss together. All right, and I think I'm happy with the intensity of my lip color. And with that, I've completed my look for today, which features a very glowy golden look um, and a dramatic eye uh, which I think would be perfect for a night out and perhaps for Valentine's so I truly hope you've enjoyed uh, like I've said in previous videos I just want to thank all my subscribers again for all their support and their positive um, comments as well as constructive criticisms I truly thank you uh, please stay tuned for plenty more and have a fabulous day